Hello everyone and welcome back to Fauna Written All Over It. We are very fast approaching 10k written all over it. So if you want to be part of the continuing transfer, well the up and running and continuing transfer journey next season and beyond then be sure to press subscribe down below right now. Get that done. If we get anywhere near 300 likes we will go live on this YouTube channel and discuss all the latest Pompey transfer rumours and transfer news. As it happens, we'll get all the gang together and we'll get that done for you as well. Big news in the world of Pompey today. Something we've been anticipating for a little while. We've been waiting for, some of us have been waiting for weeks and weeks for this final announcement. We've been teased on the Pompey Twitter page all day. So Max, big shout out to you, mate. Pompey have announced today that Marlon Pack will be rejoining his boyhood club at the now age of 31, following the expiry of his contract with Cardiff City on the 30th of June. It is fantastic news and it means that not only is Pompey's transfer window underway, which is what we've all been waiting for, for a very impatient set of supporters we've been waiting for this moment to get going. I'm so pleased that we are now underway and we can get cracking now, first one in the door. But it also provides us with a bit of assurance, a bit of a bit of calmness, a bit of experience in what is a relatively youthful midfield in this Pompey side at this moment in time. I'm really excited to see how Marlon integrates with the likes of Joe Morrell and Louis Thompson in this Pompey midfield, obviously, specifically given the amount of time that Joe Morrell spent with his parent club as Bristol City. Marlon Pack ended his captaincy at Bristol City for a move to Cardiff. So I think there's a little bit of a relationship already there, which is great news. Marlon Pack becomes one of the most experienced midfielders in League One in this upcoming season, although he is 31 I think he brings an awful lot to the game that this Pompey side currently lack we also have to bear in mind that whilst he might not be as spirited as he was in his prime championship days he also now joins the unofficial senior leadership team at Pompey Sean Raggett Clark Robertson and now Marlon Romeo and now Marlon Pax form a nice pact of senior players who know what they're doing and can provide a little bit of calmness in a crisis and keep this Pompey team level-headed keep the feet on the ground all that kind of thing the assured nature of their performances is really going to shine through and I'm looking forward to seeing that little triangular partnership develop during Marlon's time at Pompey as well. That also has to work in our favour if we are considering promotion as a priority this season, which I think we all know we probably are. <laughs> it's getting a bit desperate if we're not. Since the 2015-16 season, Marlon Pack has been registering 30s and 40s of, in terms of the numbers of games he's played consistently in the Championship for all those years. He's been nothing but a championship player and a week in week out championship player at that. Having said all this, this really pleasing bit of transfer news and it's obviously something that's been worked on over a long period of time. So we have to give a lot of credit to the recruitment team at Porsche Football Club for getting this deal over the line and making it announceable to the Pompey public and, and to Pompey fans around the world who will be watching this with a beam on their face, I'm hoping, because it means that we've got going. We know we're not there yet and we know that we're very short in a number of different departments within the football club. Going into pre-season with not having a recognised striker is obviously something that we're all aware of and it's a serious and it's seriously problematic for us at this moment in time however I genuinely believe that with the news of Marlon Pack returning to his boyhood club that the assurances and experience and the quality that that's going to provide to us should we be able to get George Hurst back, which day by day it's looking increasingly likely that we are leading that race and perhaps even more so than it was otherwise thought previously that we might be able to get George back. Aidan O'Brien needs to agree deals and we need to, we need to put an offer on the table that Aidan O'Brien simply cannot refuse and get him back as well plus a few talented additions and we are shaping up to be a real force to be reckoned with in this upcoming League One season. It doesn't need a lot, it needs a couple of additions plus some players to come back. I think we can wave goodbye to Hayden Carter and obviously the less said about Gavin Bazzuni the better. We shouldn't speculate with regards to a goal return but Marlon Pack is not known for his goal scoring ability. He scored only ones and twos in his seasons in the Championship but that's not what he's for and we know that. That's why the striker issue is a really key one and I think we need to move heaven and earth to get George back and we also need Keon Atete as a Name that's been thrown around I think that would be a really good addition as well that does of course mean that we are going to need to spend some money and get out in amongst it in the transfer window whether or not that happens is a different story and something that we will be continuing to document here on Forward and written all over it for now I want to go and celebrate this news uh, thank you for joining me once again thanks for sticking right to the end again plenty more coming your way we've got a whole season of Forward and written all over it revamped Forward and written all over it we've got so much to bring you live streams are back as well so that's really exciting stick around drop a subscribe down below leave a like on the video thank Thank you for watching, keep the faith, and as always, start getting excited and play up Pompey.